So should a special prosecutor be named to investigate New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and his role in Bridgegate, especially since he didn't get a job in D.C.? Well, a community activist says he should, and he went to the court today to make his case. Files one's Kimberly Wallace. She was there. Governor Christie was not in court today, but his lawyers were here in Hackensack to defend the official misconduct complaint against him. Today, Superior Court Judge Bonnie Mizdal heard from community activist Bill Brennan about his request for a special prosecutor in his case against Governor Christie for his role in the 2013 GWB lane closure scandal. Brennan accusing Christie of official misconduct for failing to reopen the lanes. The defendant committed an act of official misconduct. The problem is the defendant also appointed the county prosecutor and the attorney general. Therefore, everybody who works for the county prosecutor and everybody who works for the attorney general has the same conflict that they do. I will reflect upon your arguments today. Christie's attorney argued against the charge, saying multiple investigations cleared the governor of any wrongdoing and went on to explain why a special prosecutor is not needed. What we have is we got, and there's an established set of rules and laws for conflicts. Mr. Brennan ignores the fact that prior to his making this motion to your honor, Christopher Brown refused himself in this matter, but we are all refused himself in this matter. The attorney general and county prosecutor have already recused themselves from the case, but Brennan says a special prosecutor should be brought in because there's a conflict of interest. There's a master-servant relationship there, and because of that relationship, the conflict attaches. The, the arguments made by the governor's counsel and the attorney general together, they didn't address this issue. They, 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 they didn't address the fact that this is unprecedented in the history of New Jersey that the governor is facing a criminal charge where a judge found probable cause. Brennan says if the judge denies his request for a special prosecutor, he will appeal and seek other forums to pursue the charge. In Hackensack, Kimberly Wallace, Fios One News. Mayo, what's... What's the threshold to get a sp special prosecutor? Well, it ought to be, number one, to maintain the integrity and so that the public has the appearance that things are on the up and up. And in this situation, uh, you have a federal prosecutor who stated that Governor Christie knew. Now, why he wasn't charged federally is beyond me because anybody else you would expect would have been charged. But if that's the case, really what they're talking about here is in the state bringing a special prosecutor who will be able to look at it independently. And in my mind, anytime you're dealing with uh, public officials, especially the higher up mm -hmm. you are and the more power you have, you ought to be able to have a special prosecutor because the people who would normally be charged with prosecuting have recused themselves. A, do you think we're going to see one? And do you think, Christy, if we do, would have to testify? Um, I think you very easily may find that there will be one. And then uh, the question as to whether they can compel Governor Christie to testify would come down to, uh, to New Jersey law. Lots of times uh, there would be immunity, perhaps for a governor or for the president, although more recently uh, the president is not immune from civil suits. So if you have the same discovery process, you would be able to compel him to testify. Fascinating. Of course, we'll continue to follow. Okay, when we come back, prosecuting the police. Why is it so difficult, even when we get what seems like cut and dry proof of wrongdoing, especially when every incident lately seems to be caught on video? We'll get into that and update some high profile cases in the courtrooms, one today in North Carolina and one we're waiting on in South Carolina. Stay with us.